I found this dead turtle next to a pond on 10 September 2016. The pond is in a rural area near Albany, New York, USA. It's possible the turtle was killed by a car, although its skeleton seemed to be roughly intact, and it was a bit off the road, so it may have died from something else. You can see various invertebrates on the dead turtle. This article discusses the decay of a human body, but a lot of the information is probably similar for the turtle case. Quote, Maggots are extremely efficient and thorough flesh eaters. Starting on the outside of the body where they hatched, maggots use mouth hooks to scoop up the fluids oozing out of the corpse. Within a day's time, the maggots will have entered the second stage of their larval lives, as well as burrowing into the corpse. Moving around as a social mass, maggots feed on decaying flesh and spread enzymes that help turn the body into delectable goo. The breathing mechanism of a maggot is located on the opposite end of its mouth, enabling it to simultaneously eat and breathe without interruption around the clock. While a first stage larva is about 2 millimeters long, by the time it exits the third stage and leaves the body as a pre-pupa, it may be as large as 20 millimeters, 10 times its initial length." End quote. Some maggots are larvae of blowflies, although I don't know the identification of the maggots shown here. This page says, quote, A female blowfly lays up to 300 eggs at one time, and with numerous females visiting a corpse, the number of maggots can be immense. For example, 48,562 maggots were found on a 156-gram piece of meat after 24 hours exposure. However, because this was insufficient food to sustain them, only 231 flies finally emerged. In warm weather conducive to fly growth, maggots can consume 60% of a human body in less than a week. End quote. There were non-maggot invertebrates on the corpse, too. These may be mites, though I'm not sure. Some mites are phoretic, meaning they hitch a ride on other animals. This article says, quote, Phoretic mites are likely the most abundant arthropods found on carcasses and corpses. They outnumber their scavenger carriers in both number and diversity. Many phoretic mites travel on scavenger insects and are highly specific. They will arrive on a particular species of host and no other. End quote. 